No drip, yes. What? Tell him run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first I Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy those types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool camera flash effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and just kind of play in here is the editing breakdown to the actual effect. So this is what it looks like when you actually see the entire timeline definitely looks kind of cool and as you can see right there this basically emulates like boom like someone just basically emulates like someone just took a picture and you saw the flash and then boom the picture popped up on screen so i'm going to go ahead and kind of break this down and show you how i created this effect so it's basically right here this is the main portion of the entire video so these two right here are just adjustment layers um, that i just renamed flash now basically these, these adjustment layers have highlights that are keyframed. What you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel right here, go to all and just type in highlights as you can see right here that is the name of the effect. As you can see right here, here is an adjustment layer. Now I made this adjustment layer 6 frames long and I'll show you why. So let's go ahead and go 1, 2, 3 frames. That's the middle and then 1, 2, 3 frames and that's it. So basically what I'm just doing is I'm slowly, gradually, boom, slowly, gradually putting in the flash and then boom, it slowly, gradually fades away. So this adjustment layer right here you can see highlights so that's the effect you actually want on the adjustment layer now watch the intensity so i started at the beginning of the adjustment layer i went ahead and just typed in zero and then i keyframed it i went to the middle keyframed it to 100 then I went to the end and keyframed it to zero. So basically go ahead and just click on this effect and then watch the highlights and watch the intensity. As you can see right here, zero, 33, 66, 100, 66, 33, and then back down to zero. So you're literally just slowly, gradually keyframing in the highlights and that's how you create this effect now what i did was i i went one two three frames and then i waited one extra frame to actually have the picture show up and then the last two frames it gradually slows down now this can be this can all be up to you you may want to just immediately cut it or you may want to have a little bit of flash actually on the picture um that's all up to you and then this picture right here i just got from google as well as this picture right here so i basically just had the flash flash gradually boom the flash and then gradually the next frame has the actual picture you can see a little bit of fl flash fade out and then this this sound effect right here i got from epidemic sound it's literally just a camera shutter sound effect and then the music down below is also from epidemic sound for so the flash gradually it's fading then boom there you go there's a flash and then as you can see right here the picture pops up on screen as well as it's synced up with the camera shutter so it sounds like somebody took a picture you can see the flash show up and then boom there is the actual picture so again it's literally just an adjustment layer you put on highlights start it at zero go to the middle keyframe it to 100 then go back to the end and keyframe it to zero as you can see right here intensity 0 30 66 100 in the middle and then one two three frames it gradually goes back to normal now you can make this you can have a whole bunch of varieties of these effects but this is how you create this really cool um camera flash effect it's literally just keyframing the highlight effect so go ahead and kind of use your own imagination and come up with some really cool ideas i've never seen anybody who made this effect created like i did so go ahead and use your own creativity and come up with a really cool effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to see more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 80 different Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and again I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you in the next one. Peace.